Okay, I'm trying out a new lens, and let's see if this one can focus onto my face instead of the background. Um, usually when I gave it such a wide aperture lens, this is a 1.8, it will focus on whatever it thinks should be in focus. Sometimes it will focus on the background, so pay attention to my face, okay? I think it's focusing on the background, right? Anyway, I don't care. So, today started off terribly. I woke up to a message from Peter notifying that I did such a horrible job that I should not be touching the bibliography on... Bibliography? Bibli bibliography on his uh, Scots in Java article. That was disconcerting. I immediately went to check what he's talking about, and apparently... I did a doo-doo on another translation that I shouldn't have done such a doo-doo. He was checking that translation. And uh, there's so much shit to fix on that uh, paper. He's been checking up to chapter 3. He didn't forward me any correction for chapter 1 and 2. He sent me a correction for chapter 3 just now. I'm taking it as a sign that I did such a terrible job that I ought to be fired. I deserve to be fired. Um, it was such a doo-doo. No. It's something that shouldn't have happened, but it happened last year. Well, earlier this year. It shouldn't have... It, is it earlier this year? Or was it was last year, right? No, it was earlier this year. Um, shouldn't have happened... I did such a doo-doo, I took responsibility, send in the correction to him, but apparently he's not forwarding it to the other guy who's supposed to use the correction. Um, I'm thinking of sending it on my own, but I kind of stopped caring about it and just wait for them to complain to me, if any. I'm not interested in working with these people anymore. Uh, and by the looks of it, they must be pretty upset that I did such a crappy translation that they had to do a lot of correction for the shit. Yeah, thanks, Peter. Screwed me up so much. Anyway, um, the fan showed up today, and I fixed... I replaced the fan from uh, my computer. I took out the old one, and immediately the uh, temperature went down to 38 degrees for idle temperature. At full blast, it went up to 75, 77 degrees. Way below the uh, minimum, 95, and way below the high temperature of 80s. So I'm pretty happy about that. Hopefully it'll stay... Uh, It will hold up for a long time, hopefully, uh, maybe a couple of years. Um, there is a bit of a weird issue, though. Um, apparently, the, uh, the fan was supposed to be on the other side, but it was so tall that my me and my memory uh, RAM cards were so tall uh, that it hits the bottom of the fan. So I couldn't put it that way, so I had to place the uh, other fan on the other side uh, on the intake. Is it the intake? The outtake. Yeah, the intake. Right next to the other fan that is blowing wind, blowing air from the outside of the uh, case. So it's weird. It's got a little tunnel right directly into uh, the CPU. I hope that's, that would be fine. Uh, the only problem is there's a cable that's supposed to go down there and I have to kind of squish it in. And it was making some tick, 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 tick sound earlier. Uh, I, I wiggled it around and it stopped. Hopefully it fixed itself. Uh, it's pretty quiet other than the humming sound. It's a lot louder than I hope, but it's a lot quieter than I expect a CPU to sound. And with the added benefit of having uh, lower temperature, I'm okay with it. The weird thing about the CPU, I think it's kind of broken, is that it needs to be uh, overclocked, up, up volt, over volted uh, by about 
0.2 volts. Otherwise, it will keep crashing. If I set it to one point something plus one point something, it'll crash. Forget undervolting. I tried to undervolt it. It's not working. It just wouldn't boot up. It needs to be plus one plus 0 0.2. Otherwise, it won't boot up. If it's at plus one, it just keeps crashing. Blue screen of death every time. Uh, I tried to set it up at one point something. I left it all day to do their work on handbrake, and then when I get back, it just crashed. Uh, everything was turned off. It just uh, dead. It was just dead. I had to reset the whole thing and set it to plus 2.04, and it is working now. I also have to increase the uh, voltage on the memory. So I think there is some damage to the CPU because of the overheating that it's been dealing with over the past couple years. I don't think we should rely on stock fans ever again for AMD. It's just inviting problems. I don't think it's working. I have another AMD downstairs that has an... It keeps... Uh, okay, so I have an AMD downstairs that I use to render... Uh, to to run handbrake to compile uh, the files to a smaller and cleaner and easier to digest by the uh, DaVinci Resolve. The problem is it's processing quite slowly. I don't know why. It's a lot slower than this, and but it's actually a much better CPU than this one. That was a 5600. 50, this is a 3600. But this one can compile, can uh, process, hunt, can you can run Handbrake to process uh, videos lots faster than that one. I don't know why. I need to check. I need to look into it. I'm guessing it's the prob the problem is with the uh, Linux. Um, I'm running GNOME Linux, uh, Ubuntu, not Ubuntu. What's the other one? Uh, Debian downstairs. I'm guessing there's some problem with optimization, but I don't know what it is. It keeps crashing every other day. I don't know why. I need to keep looking, checking, making sure that it's running. Otherwise, it'll crash and I wouldn't find out about it until tomorrow, the next day. Now, that's a huge problem because I have a lot of terabytes to compile, to render out, to make it compress it into a smaller file. That is easier to digest by DaVinci Resolve. That way I can edit faster. It's also denoised. I don't... Now I realize that I don't need to denoise it, but apparently I still need to denoise it. Uh, okay, so let's start with the denoising. I, I found out that I don't need to denoise it because DaVinci Resolve actually denoises things quite quickly if you're running at 24 FPS. If you're extrapolating that to 60 FPS and then denoising it, then everything will screech, run, uh, screech to a halt. For some reason, it's not smart enough to know that it's not supposed to extrapolate every frame every time it wants to denoise and needs the previous frame or the next frame. So a 24 frames per second um, extrapolated to 60, it will denoise by two frames. It needs the previous frame, the next frame. That's uh, two and a half times two, and if you're uh, denoising at 4K, that's times four. That's a lot of denoising. It's, it's just too much for my poor graphics card. The graphics card. Apparently, the there are three fans on the graphics card, and apparently the first fan is dying because it's running very slowly, and sometimes it will make a tick, 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 tick sound. I don't know why, especially if it's running uh, at full blast. Today, it doesn't make that much noise because I don't know. I had it running to do DaVinci Resolve processing using the GPU, rendering out some videos. It's not making that sound. I haven't tested with uh, Stable Diffusion because Stable Diffusion uh, is a lot uh, heavier to run on the GPU. I haven't tested on the, on the uh, Stable Diffusion. Um, I'm hoping it's not going to be making the ticking sound anymore. I'm hoping the... Uh, Fan would somehow fix itself, but it's an old card. It's time to change it. I don't want to buy the 4 Series. I mean, 
it's overpriced right now. Should I wait for the fifth series? But it's not going to be better. Uh, Nvidia is just going to crank the price even more. It's going to get even worse. Uh, they're not selling the four series uh, like pancakes. I hope they take a message that they, they need to reduce the price. But they're not going to reduce the price of this thing while introducing a new uh, card that is lower cost than this. So, yeah. NVIDIA is kind of a terrible place right now. I don't want to buy their card. I don't want to have to buy to... Um, maybe if I have to, I'll buy the 3070 or 3080 or something. No, I can't buy the 3080. It's PCIe 4, Gen 4. I'm only at Gen 3. I need to replace the motherboard if I want to change that to Gen 4. That means I'm going to have to replace my uh, CPU if I switch to that one, because it's not going to be AM4 anymore. Besides, this CPU is kind of suck. I don't know. I don't, wanna, I don't want to upgrade my graphics card yet. I don't do as much uh, stable diffusion. I'm not very fluent at it. I don't think it's useful for my purposes. Besides, I can't do it. I can't make it do or render out whatever I want it to, to do. I don't know how to do that. I'm seeing lots of good renders, generations from uh, DeviantArt. People are doing it, using it well to do some actions, but I don't know. I, I'm not, other than having to manually uh design the open pose for the uh, action i don't know how am i supposed to do that i don't want to have to pose every character okay maybe i'll i'll need maybe i'll take photos references for open pose is that what i need to do i don't want to have to do some extra work i just want to type something and then have it generate whatever i wanted to do Anyway, the computer seems to be doing fine right now. Uh, temperatures maximum at 77. I got banned from uh, Overwatch, suspended for 24 hours, 20 hours. Uh, simply because for some reason, the uh, network card is unstable. It just crashed, it cut off. It just stopped. I don't know what's wrong. Um, I was, we were, we were starting a new match and then suddenly, uh, the connection drops. It, it happens. It keeps happening. It's been happening with the, uh, other, with the other, uh, um, what was it? Router? Even if I connected to directly to Melsa's own, uh, ONT, it will keep disconnecting every other hours. I don't know why. Um, it's much better with this one running on LAN. Uh, I got the Wi-Fi set up. Uh, I could just connect it to Wi-Fi, but it's not running on uh, 5 gigahertz. The 5 gigahertz signal doesn't reach this place. Um, I'm pretty sure my uh, receiver is gigahertz, 5 gigahertz capable, but it's just not receiving any signal. Do I need to get... Um, a mesh net thing, a repeater down here, up here for the 5G. I don't want to spend more money on this. I ordered uh, a new LAN cable. Hopefully, it's a Cat 8. It's a Cat 8. Hopefully, it'll show up either tomorrow or Monday. Probably Monday. Things are being delivered rather slowly lately. Oh, shut up. Things are being delivered rather short. Slowly relate. Things are being delivered rather slowly lately. So hopefully, it's going to come up Monday. And uh, let's see if the Cat 8 will do it. But the te uh, there was an option for a uh, 10 meter and 12 meter with silver uh, tip or a 10 meter with a gold tip that costs a little bit more. But there's no 12 meter gold tip. Hopefully 10 meter, 10 meter gold tip, that's the one that I bought, is enough to connect the computer to the uh, uh, new router downstairs. And PBK sent me the money, so we're uh, money came in today, but they haven't sent me the uh, text stuff yet. Looking forward to that. I'm gonna have to follow up with them on Monday. They said they sent the request to finance, but haven't heard back. So that's the kind of shit they're doing out there. Apparently, they cut my payment. 
cut the tax out of take the ta took the tax out of make payment, but didn't bother to set up the uh, pay stubs. They really need to make me to make me my pay stubs. All right. Let's see what they come up with on Monday because PBK never replies on the weekend. I don't know why. They never just never did. Okay, that's a pretty long day. It's a pretty shitty day, and it's not the end of it. That's not the end of it. It's the bugs. There's no bugs tonight. Turns out, I thought it was, I thought those are moth. No, those were termites. Uh, apparently they're attracted to lights. I didn't know that. Um, we sprayed the termites in here. And then apparently there was a bunch more downstairs and mom used uh, bug spray to spray the termites. And now the, whole, the entire house smells like bug spray. I've been having uh, respiratory issues because of it and a bit of a headache. It's starting to affect me. If the smell doesn't go by tomorrow, I think there's going to be a lot of problem with me. I'm going to... I'm. I mean, I'm sweating. I'm dizzy. Uh, I'm having a headache. Hopefully. We are aerating it. We opened the, uh... We opened the, all the doors and windows. Hopefully, the smell will go out by tonight, and tomorrow will be wouldn't be as bad tomorrow. Uh, but even in this room, it still smells. They were spraying it downstairs, and I started smelling uh, bug spray perfume. <laughs> and I was like, "What the hell's going on?" I went downstairs, and they were spraying bug spray everywhere. Okay, but I think they got the termites. The problem was why I already ordered an entire bottle of termite uh, insecticide. It's... Mom couldn't wait. Uh, it's on the way. Uh, probably gonna come in Monday. Hopefully tomorrow. We're probably gonna be come in Monday. So, yeah. Um... It's been a long day, getting from here to there, but that's it for today, and I'll see you tomorrow.